rolling out to the runway on a cold, frosty Florida morning. It's been windy and cold for a while, and it's still windy and cold. But not having flown for over a week, there is an itch that needs scratching. Must fly, must fly in spite of the wind and cold. Then the wind grabs the aircraft as it becomes airborne and climbs away. The air upstairs is 20, 25 knots and is smooth above this ground turbulence and the wind gradient. Above, it's a bright, crisp and clear early morning. What a view, but it's cold. Turning into the full rising sun, it seems warmer like this, but that's just the psychology of sitting in the sunlight. Such a pleasure to be off the ground again after what seems like a long wait. At this time of the year, maybe, maybe, an open cockpit has its disadvantages. Maybe. Flying east into the sun, the English coast should appear soon. Or is that just crazy talk? You know, crazy talk is a sign of hypothermia. It's cold. Yeah, it is. Hypothermia cold. Crazy talk cold. Time to turn around and head back to the airport. Where is that airport? It's around here somewhere. Finding the airport, the descent begins through the wind gradient and into the ground turbulence. On the ground, the wind is 10 miles an hour, but it's 90 degree crosswind with gusts to 18. This could be challenging, Stand ready for a go-around. We'll land between the gusts. It's a bumpy final approach and the captain calls for a sterile cockpit, which means no talking, no distractions. Steady. Steady. Maintain descent. Fasten your seat belts. Steady. Steady. See how easy that was? Anybody can do it. Anybody. You know, it's a lot warmer on the ground out of all that wind. Post-flight brings a calmness and a sanity that's eerily euphoric. I like this. I want more. Until next time, fly safe, fly often.